Hi, I have in front of me here the Amico HD Mini T2 slash cable uh, set-top box. Basically, it comes in this outer box here. And the uses of this would be for picking up, let's say, um, terrestrial transmissions such as Freeview, but it also, uh, Freeview HD in the UK and Serview here in, the, in Ireland. Um, but also, we'll say, the type of tuner that's in this makes it suitable for use with cable as well, okay? So that's just, a, 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 that's pretty common now. Most terrestrial tuners will do cable as well. So let's look at what comes in the box itself. So we have the remote control here. It's great remote, easy use, good range, okay? We have the main event here, which is set up box. Um, it's, one thing you'll note here is it's very, very compact, smaller than my hand here. But I've got to come back and discuss this and go through all the um, features on it in a few moments. There's a power unit here that comes with it. So it's an external power unit. It's 12 volts, two, amp, um, two amps. Uh, we have a, a series of uh, accessories then. So we'll just go through them here. We have the HDMI lead over here. Um, so obviously if you're feeding output here to a HDTV, you'll always use this. Gives you full high definition resolution. Uh, we have a user manual, which is in English uh, uh, here, okay? Uh, we have a number of add-ons then as well. So we have this uh, RS-232 which terminates in a 3.5mm jack. And what we're able to do with that is, uh, if we want to do a software update, something like that, it'll certainly push into the back of the box. Very rarely used, but it comes with the box. If we were using it with an older television, we'd use this jack here, push in, and it terminates in an RCA connection, which we could obviously convert to SCAR or feed directly into an RCA connection on TVs. And then the final thing here is, the most important of the accessories probably here is this um, IR blaster here, which is just an IR sensor which we attach to the box. The remote control can only be picked up by the box when this is connected to it. And I'll show you um, why that's such a great feature in terms of how we can mount uh, this uh, very discreetly. So let's look at the box itself. If we look at the front here, you'll note there's no buttons, absolutely nothing here. Um, so if we rotate the box around, uh, we will see uh, we have a USB port here, uh, and if we turn to the back here as well, we'll see we have um, uh, what do you call it? A, um, a, a terrestrial uh, input here. We have a coaxial tuner. We have a digital optical output here. We have a HDMI output, which would obviously be our preference choice. We have an Ethernet cable, which is very very handy, certainly for using additional online services, things like this. Uh, and uh, so that that's a great feature on the box. We have the RS232, which would slot in here. We have the AV out, which is this cable here, where we've converted to uh, an RCA, which I mentioned earlier. And then I'll actually show and insert um, the, 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 the IR sensor here. So we'd actually just push it into the one that says IR in. And what we do here is if we imagine we had this mounted either behind the TV or in a, um, in a cabinet, something like this, but we want to be able to access the box. What we do is we just unfoil this cable, uh, unfurl this cable, and we just have it, and we have this um, stuck onto uh, the top of our bench or something like that, where we can actually just come along and we can access the box, change channels, etc., directly through the blaster. Now, just one final thing, we'll just look at the bottom of the box here, and we'll see the first thing is we have a card reader here, and also we have sticky pads here and little hooks, and it just means that we can actually come along and hook this onto the back of a TV or onto a wall, something like that, which leads uh, really in combination with the, the blaster here, which allows us for a very discreet mounting. So you'll have your TV with no set-top box visible. So that's it anyway. It's proved to be a very popular box. Indeed, the whole Miko and uh, Sab ranges of boxes, for that matter, uh, proved to be very, very popular uh, for us, both because of the versatility of the products, but also because of um, the reliability, very, very low levels of returns on it. So that's it anyway, an overview of the Amico uh, HD Mini uh, T2 slash cable set-top box.